want to go to the party next week? Party? Yeah. Um, yeah, I would love to come, but I think that it's not a good idea and I should probably mm. study this weekend. Okay. But next time, definitely. Next time, next time, okay. There won't be a next time. Hello! Hi, I'm Christina from the US. Hi, I'm Lauren from the UK. It shows so much in the, like, sometimes maybe a little exaggerated in movies. I'm not sure if it's exaggerated. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like for us, if somebody doesn't apologize when they, like, knock you, then mm. I get so angry. Mm. It really annoys me. Actually, like the same in the US. Yeah, if it's, someone like bumps you, I, yeah. oh, you can just, I can feel the anger burn. Yeah, inside. yeah. <laughs> like if somebody like bumped into us or mm. like pushed past us, we'd be like, excuse me. Yeah. Or yeah. excuse you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, that's just. <laughs> it could start a fight. Yeah. yeah. In the US. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in the US it could start a fight. Such a long sentence. Maybe slightly exaggerated, but honestly, I feel like we wouldn't just be like, help, we're like, excuse me, please, someone help. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, I mean, in the US, sometimes we would use some of those fillers before we would like ask something direct. <laughs> oh my God, oh lady, bless you. Bless who? <laughs> what does that mean? It's when people sneeze, which is say bless you, which essentially means have good health. That is so sweet of him. Bless the smile. <laughs> he, he got me Oh, do you want me to help you with them? Oh my god, you don't have to. Oh, bless you, bless darling. You. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize we had so many situations that we say bless you i think in the in the u.s like we would say bless you if someone sneezes mm -hmm. but i think maybe only people who are quite religious would say oh bless you like if you're being nice to them or if they're taking care of you or mm -hmm. something what, what about in the uk is it it's more common to say bless you so normal like <sighs> obviously when someone sneezes like it's a, like a knee-jerk reaction to be like oh bless you right like i did it here to one of my uh, like classmates and she was like what? <laughs> I was like, oh, we just say it. Like if someone sneezes, we say bless you. Mm -hmm. And now she started doing it. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Yeah. Bit rude, don't you think? <laughs> Is it? Bit rude, don't no, you think? No, it's fine. Thank you for educating me. You're welcome. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, that's too much. Do we really do that? You I think it depends on the situation. We would also say like, oh, no problem. Or like, maybe usually we would say like, no problem. If it's with our friends or if it's just really like not a big thing, we would say, oh yeah. Like, yeah, I, I think with our friends, maybe I think in the UK, you know. No that. way on earth <laughs> would we be like, yeah, people would be like, what? Excuse me. <laughs> I think it depends on the situation. If it's something very, very, very small and with your very close friends, it's like mm. kind of okay. Yeah, we usually would say you're welcome, like mm. just naturally, or I feel like to friends, I would just be like, oh, no props. No props. Like that's us trying to show yeah. something. No props. Or I would just say, welcome. Sorry, sorry mate. Sorry? sorry. What mm. for? I was just saying sorry to each other. Sorry. Is that a ghost? Oh, sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry for scaring. Is that a lot of sorry? That's a lot you? of sorries. I mean, in the US, we say sorry every now and then, but try not to say sorry too much in situations where it's not needed. It's just like, <laughs> it just comes out so easily. Yeah, like, I, I say it a lot. Any tiny thing, like, sorry. What do British people really mean in an email? Your suggestion was very interesting. It was awful. Oh, Your yeah. suggestion sure was enough. pure nonsense. Yeah, it's so accurate. Yeah. You just try and like go around, around it. and not be direct at all. Like every single time. But, oh, the way that people write emails is so funny. I've seen so is. many memes about it. And it it's is. like they try to be so polite about everything. Uh, when I lived in the US, I had to write a lot of emails. I was like looking up templates. Are you always like, Apologies for any inconvenience. Yes, like every that time. Even. Every time. So we would write an email, dear whoever. Mm -hmm. I am 
writing to you because blah 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 blah. Same, Best same. Best wishes, blah blah blah. Uh, my emails too. Sorry for any inconvenience. <laughs> That's the tagline of this. <laughs> Every email. <laughs> Hey, I'm having a party tonight. Would you like to join? Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it. There's no partying with you in my entire life. Oh. We should definitely meet. Let's make a plan sometime next week. Yeah, definitely. I'll bear it in mind. Uh, I've forgotten it already. So I've true. I've forgotten it already. <laughs> yeah, we're always just like, oh yeah, I'll get back to you. Never. Oh, I'll think about it. it means I'm not going. Like, just yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll let you know. For people in the US, they really like, they don't want to be like fake and they just want to be like outwardly honest. So they may just be like, that's why ghosting sometimes is, it, it happens in the US, but sometimes they would literally say like, if you went on a Tinder date and it didn't work out, be like, they, they would message you why. You know, wow. sometimes they'd be that's like, hey, like I'm really good. sorry, but like, I don't think we match. You know, they would be kind of direct, direct, but it does depend on who that person is. It was fun. Oh, this was fun. It was fun. funny to laugh at British people. <laughs> We're so polite for no yeah. reason. Just say I, it how it is, come on. I need to try and do this more. Mm. I'm I, super, but me like, too, though. No like, I'm actually kind of like not the, I guess, stereotype because like not everyone is the same in the yeah. US, right? So I'm kind of more like uh, reserved in a way. Mm. And I really don't like confrontation mm. for like an American. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really, it was it was really fun to see. <laughs> I mean, Christine is not like the best example because she's yeah very like yeah like she said like reserved and right right. But there are you know reserved Americans Ooh, of out course there. Too. there are. Yeah, so, the, so <laughs> but here you need the to be the stereotype. stereotype. <laughs> They're really loud, like American. Like you no, know? I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not me. You know, so just showing different sides of maybe that's American something people. we can work on together. Getting better at saying no. <laughs> saying no and being that right now, we can do it. So today we looked at different examples of British politeness. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye!